What's up everybody? It's Josh. It is Friday. It is Memorial Day weekend. Three day weekend for hopefully most of you. I just got an email confirmation from my Walmart saying my pickup is ready. Now I am super stoked on this pickup. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is until I get it. I will be unboxing it in this video, so I hope you guys are excited. Remember, next giveaway is at 500 subscribers. We are so close. So I'm going to take you along to Walmart. I have to stop by the P.O. Box to pick up some stuff from my boy Geeked Up. I think he hooked me up with a few Biddle figure parts, so I appreciate it, brother. I am so stoked to get these completed. I also need to drop off the subscriber giveaway box and a trade with another syndicate member. So from the looks of it, this weekend is going to be dope. I know I am going to go be hitting a couple stores. You guys will obviously be coming along with me, so I hope you are hyped for that. Thank you so much for the support on my videos lately. So with that being said, let's go to Walmart, let's pick this up, and let's get the weekend started. And we arrived at Walmart. I don't even think you can see me. Can you see me? Yeah, I'll have to walk backwards for a second. But we arrived at Walmart. Cross your fingers that this order is ready because I am super hyped for it. But we'll see because you know how Walmart likes to be, um, not knowing what they're talking about. So I'll see you guys in there once again. Apologize for the windscreen. Okay, I just got to Walmart. I wouldn't feel right if I didn't show you guys at least what I was looking at. We got ATSDs. Here's the two pack again. I think I'm gonna end up getting a trade for this. Uh, I talked to my boy Paul that sent me that Death Squad Commander. He's wanting to do a trade with me on this, so I got this on lockdown. Thank you, Paul. Same old legends, blah, 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 blah. And Black Series, nothing, 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 nothing. So obviously full of disappointment. I know, I'm sorry guys, but the main reason I came here is for my pickup, so let's go get it. All right, what's up guys? Just got out of Walmart, and the figure that I got to go and pick up was, boom, the Proto Fet Walmart exclusive. I will be unboxing this later on in the video. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I am so happy that I got to pick this up. I hope everybody snagged one that could from their online. The lady said it's not in their system yet, so I don't know if they're even on their way to stores yet. So keep an eye out for this. I'll keep you updated as much as I can on my Instagram and the Syndicate Facebook page. Both of those links will be down in the description below. Um, I don't know if I'm going to another store yet or if I'm gonna go home, but either way, in the next clip, I'll see you. It might be an unboxing, it might be another store, but I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so I just got home, as you guys can tell. Um, I think I'm gonna go hunting tonight, probably. So I'll see you when Karina gets home, see what she feels like she's doing. Um, guys, it's freaking Friday. I know I said that, but it's a three-day weekend. I'm, I'm legit hyped. It's beautiful outside. Usually Ohio is so spotty with the weather that it's just up and down, up and down, but it's freaking sunny. It is gorgeous. It's supposed to rain Saturday and Sunday, so I might as well go hunting tonight. So I'll let you guys know. Well, you'll actually, you'll actually find out. So I can't let you know because by the time this is up, it's already going to happen. So anyways, You'll see it in the next clip, guys. I appreciate you rolling with me this far. I'm super stoked to get that Protofet unboxed. I mean, it's Star Wars. I'm moving in the right direction, right, guys? But anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. Peace. All right, guys, I don't know what the last clip was, but I made it to a Walgreens just to see what they have cracking. I don't know why I said what they have cracking. That doesn't make any sense. But some pops. Looks like, yeah. No bueno, no bueno. Hoping maybe some of them have wave two. All right, Popwise. They got a Scarlet Spider. Already have that one. Mad at Driver or ATAT -AT Driver, whatever you guys pronounce it as. Punisher. I do need a White Tiger, but I feel like I can long game that and maybe just get the build a figure piece. Any of you guys collect Walking Dead, there's an Aaron. She's here now. But do I pull the trigger on her? That's the thing. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I want her that bad. She's cool in person, but I just don't honestly know if I want her. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have six here, so that's I think a full case. I don't know. And I don't want to be a hype beast and just buy it just because that's what everybody's looking for. But she's pretty cool, and I've heard rumors that. Human Torch and someone else is coming out from Fantastic Four, so I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna pass. 
I don't know guys, I just, I can't pull a trigger on it yet. I did put one in layaway just in case, so I don't know guys, we'll see. But I'm about to head to a toy shop, hopefully they let me record, and I'll see you there. Okay guys, just got to the toy store right here. It's in uh, it's in Fairborn. It's called uh, Time Time Warp Toys. I found a lot of legends here, and for all you wrestling fans, um, uh, there's a lot of WWE stuff in here. Sorry, someone yelled at me. Um, I'm gonna ask if I can record first before I go in there, so I will let you guys know. All right guys, so the homies let me record. Um, I wanna show you all this. Literally, this is not a mirage. This is a whole wall of nothing but figures. So I wanna show you guys a couple legends, some Star Wars, and for all you wrestling fans, I'm about to go digging through some stuff, so let's go take a look. All right, guys, so all the Star Wars, some Power of the Force, Episode 1 stuff. Some older and newer Black Series, which I have most of those, but what we're here for is these. All of these legends. Boom. So let's check it out, guys. So much stuff. Got Superior Venom. No build figure, but I'm for sure gonna grab him. Thor. I know he's pretty fancy. Lots of older stuff. White Tiger. Cable. Need her. Well, actually, I need the build a figure part of that. We have a Toxin. I need that carnage so bad, but boom. Oh, Daredevil. Why am I having such luck finding these Daredevils lately? Scarlet Spidey. Bulldozer. This cap. I don't have him. I think I grabbed, yeah, I grabbed the other cap in there, but he's pretty sweet too. Is that Craven? Oh, yeah. So much, guys. I like that Spidey. Yeah, man. Some older ones. And it looks like another Thor. Yeah, another Thor, Hawkeye. Have all of these old school toy vis stuff. You know, I'm all about that stuff. But, but guys, this is literally one of the best stores in the area. Um, I will link the description to the Facebook down below so you guys can at least check it out if you're local. And then here's some old Marvel Legends. Got Scarlet Witch, Daredevil, Sentry, and Age of Apocalypse Weapon X. This Winter Soldier is awesome. Yeah, I like him. Iron Fist, Grim Reaper. I don't, I've never seen him before. He looks pretty cool. Is this the comic Scarlet Witch? Yes. She's pretty cool looking. Another Thor. That marks three Thors here. There's legit so many pegs here that I don't even, I don't even know what I went through. All right, so this is some more of the cool stuff that they have at this store. Cool, some movie pigs. Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw, I know, Vampire Hunter, I think, Lord of the Rings, all it. Bugs Life for all the 90s kids out there, heck yeah, that was one of my favorite movies, I'm not too keen on wrestling stuff, so I'm sorry for anybody out there that wishes I would name out what the heck is going on, but just figured I'd give you guys a little skim at least. Got some more guys. Like I, I had this. I think I had him when I was a kid. That Goldberg. I know Funko, Sergeant Funko. You don't like him. I can't flip him upside down. Bam Bam Bigla. I remember him. Yeah. I think I had like these. Like this. Yeah. I remember him for sure. I know I had him. I had that Buff Bagwell. Oh my God! I had that Goldberg and that Sting. Wow. Is nostalgia. I used to be big into WCW and NWO and all that stuff. I haven't watched WWE or anything like that. All right, so so far this is what I'm thinking about getting. Superior Venom, Toxin, the Loose Comic Scarlet Witch, 
and I honestly don't know what else I'm gonna do. Cause as you can tell, lots of decisions. I'm thinking, I was thinking about this Winter Soldier, but I wish he had like a pistol or something that he came with. And I was also thinking about this cap. Or the Thor, I don't know. It's hard making decisions out here when you got all this to choose from. Alrighty guys, just left the homie store at Time Warp Toys. My boy hooked it up. Um, I am 100% going to put his Facebook link down in the description below. For all you local guys, I hope you saw everything in there. There is way too much to show um, all at once. I will be coming back here because he is cool with letting me film. I hope you guys enjoyed that sweet toy store little trip. If you guys are local for real, go check him out. Let him know that Josh sent you. Um, but I'm about to go meet up with a local guy for a trade. So I'll see you in a second. So I just met up with a homie Roger. He's hooking me up with a Demogorgon chase for my girl. She can't know, but I'm about to get her surprised. But homie's getting this and I'm getting well I'm not getting but she's getting this so let's go get a reaction all right so all my fellas out there if you got a girl who collects pops this is how you make her love you check this out open it open it hey is it really where'd you get this from I know you guys probably all you hear is wind but yeah that's how you make your girl happy if she collects pops. You get something that someone wants to trade it for something that she wants. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. Alright guys, so with that being done, um, we're gonna head back to the house. Gonna get these figures unboxed, get that Boba Fett reviewed for you guys, and I'll see you in a second. Alrighty guys, back at the house. Um, I'm about to get everything set up so I can show you guys what I got with my toy haul from Time Warp and so I can unbox this Boba. See you in a second. All right guys, got everything set up and it is time to show you my toy haul. But first, I'm gonna open up this package from Geeked Up. So shout out to you, brother. Um, he ended up hooking me up with a couple Build-A-Figure parts that I needed. So I'm super stoked to start getting these things completed. All right, so first he hooked me up with a Rhino leg from Ghost Rider, I believe. Then hooked me up with the right leg of the Hobgoblin. The left, what the the left leg of Space Venom. Hooked me up with the head from Space Venom. So homie, I appreciate it, dude. I think I'm getting the body for Rhino soon. I still need the body for Space Venom, I believe. So I'll be on the hunt for those. Appreciate it, man. Like I've said 16 times probably, but, but it's a great start to what I need, man. So thumbs up to you, dude. All of you guys already know who Geeked Up is, but in case you don't, Toy Hunter, fellow syndicate member, I'm going to leave his link in the description down below to his YouTube channel. So if you are not familiar with what he does, please go click that link. Check his videos out. And make sure to leave him a like, subscribe to him. Um, he puts out dope content all the time. So shout out to you, Mike. As you guys saw earlier, Proto Fett. Now what I got from Time Warp was I got Toxin. Let's see the back just in case you guys never seen that. I got a Superior Venom. And I ended up getting the comic Scarlet Witch. Still need to get the movie version of her. So let me go ahead and get this unboxed for you guys and then I'll do a comparison. Okay, so this is my super awesome review table that I just made shift. So fresh out of the package, um, he looks sweet. I haven't had the vintage collection out of the package, so I can't compare that. But from what everybody is saying, it's the same exact repack, which we all obviously know because that's what the Black Series is doing, is repackaging the VC figs. So with unboxing him, I'm having a little trouble. I don't know if you guys can see, but his peg hole for the jetpack, there seems to be part of the cape got trapped over there. So when I go to put it in... I guess it kind of stays it just you just can't touch it at all but so it comes with this jetpack and then obviously comes with the two blasters don't mind my calluses from the gym so this actually is not staying in very well so that kind of frustrates me I'm sure it's just the one that I got I don't know if there's a way that I can get that out but kind of a bummer because I literally just barely bumped it and it fell off so the only differences that I see between these two I know they're not the same figure so don't judge me on that but they are the same character um, the top of his helmet has a red has a red and blue pattern. Six inch version has two dots. And then also the jet packs three and three quarter has some color. This one is not as you can see, but overall he's an awesome figure. I don't know is the cape the same? Gray stripe and then the cape as well seems to be 
different. There's that little pattern on there, and then this is that. So, like I said, I don't have the VC version of this to compare out of the box, so I apologize, but I want to try to get him displayed with all my other Mandos, and I'll show you that in a second. Also, I just wanted to show you guys the articulation. Obviously, it is super articulated. Have your head movement, arms go up to here. They've been been that far down. That forearm rotation. No wrist movement. Bend at the knees. But like I said guys, I'm about to display them next to all my other Mando so I can show you, but I at least wanted to give you a little bit of their articulation just in case you weren't familiar with this being super articulated. Alright guys, so here is the protofet along with all my other Mandos. So I'm gonna go through them real quick in case you guys are interested. I don't know the names off the top of my head, but I'll at least describe them where they come from. He's from one of the two packs of the Entertainment Earth exclusive. I believe this is a 30th anniversary debut FET. This is the Vintage Collection Empire Strikes Back FET, Vintage Collection Django. Um, Starkiller, he has a removable helmet as well. I put Shay Vizsla in here just because she's awesome. And then the two pack from the Entertainment Earth exclusive comic packs. It's Jaster and Monstrous, Monstrous, something like that. I don't know. I can't pronounce them. They're Star Wars names. You know how hard that is. So yeah, guys, he's chilling there i'm so happy that i finally have him because i did not want to spend another 30 dollars on the vintage collection one to get him open so i would highly highly recommend if you like fet if you like mandos get it as soon as you can all right so now i'm going to unbox these super quick for you then i'm going to put them up on my shelf show you how it looks so this is what she looks like out of package if you guys have never seen her before i already think that there's going to be a huge problem posing her just because of the cape um it seems super heavy, so I don't know. I guess we'll see when I go try and plus like her legs are super loose, but whatever. The one that I am super excited about, Superior Venom. I know you guys have probably seen him multiple times. He does come with all of his attachments, but I just, I'll put that on there when I display it, but wow. The detail on his face, let me try to get a close up of that. The detail on his face is insane. He's pretty sick. So now I 110% need Carnage because I got Toxin or Toxic. Is it Toxin or Toxic? Somebody tell me. I don't want to sound like an idiot. I've you, a lot of you guys have corrected me, and I appreciate it. But I don't want to sound like a like an idiot. But I think it's Toxin or Toxic. I don't know. I just read the back of the box. Yep, it's Toxin. So I'm going I'm going to put it in just so you guys can laugh at it. But I, now I know his name is Toxin. So this is Toxin out of the package, comes with this little thing. This guy is actually scary, um, like terrifying scary. And as you guys know, he's a part of the Green Goblin wave. That head, that's scary. Looks like a little devil, devil guy. So now that I have these guys unboxed, let me try to find some room on the shelf real quick and I will get back to you in a second. Alrighty guys, I got them posed, I got them set up on my shelf. I want you guys to take a look, but I wanna warn you, this was not done by a professional poser, but some of the poses are pretty generic and I just realized I need more shelf space. All right, so here we have Toxin. Um, obviously standard pose, but I hate that he's over here with the quote unquote Avenger types of shelf. We got Black Suit Spidey here flexing. Yeah, Scarlet Witch. I'm gonna have to buy one of those stands where they can levitate because she is not posable at all. Have Superior Venom in the back. He's a sweet figure, but as you guys can see, it is very, very clustered. I'm gonna have to open up either that shelf or that shelf so I can start displaying more of my Marvel Legends. But I hope you guys enjoy what I have so far. I'll start getting more creative once I have time to mess around and actually get with these figs. I think I scored the right leg on that Hulkbuster, so maybe by next week I'll have him complete. But anyways, guys, that will do it for tonight's video. I hope you enjoyed the toy store. I hope you enjoyed my first... Yeah, that's actually like my first kind of review of a figure of the Boba Fett. Be kind. I know it wasn't the greatest. It was a little shaky. But drop a like if you enjoyed. If you want me to review any more figures, please let me know as well. This weekend, I am dedicating to make a collection video. I don't know if it's going to be my pop collection or if it's going to be something from my figure collection. But it will get to you guys by Tuesday, Wednesday. So what I want you guys to do is comment down below. What do you think of the prototype Boba Fett? What do you think of all the figures that I grabbed? Did you like them? Did you hate them? Do you have them yourselves? And what are your thoughts on them? 
I'd like to know what you guys think because I don't see it as a comment section. I see it as a discussion, but I love interacting with you guys. I love getting your feedback on what you guys think of my videos. I appreciate each positive and negative feedback that I get. So like I said, guys, that will do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching this far. Have a great weekend. Have fun hunting if you do. I've said this 16 times, so I'm going to sign off now. Guys, as always, may the figs be with you.